So full court pressing with Penny Hardaway, and I, I don't really get why, but we'll drive in, leaving us open in a green 83 per second test. Dark Matter, Brandon Roy is here, and he's literally just a reskinned Invincible Tracy McGrady that can play the point guard position, and let me tell you, it is absolutely insane. We still have that trade break base on very quick. We can curry slide, we can pro through behind the back, we can do it all, and he's mean mugging for the camera and the card art, so you gotta love it, man. Um, he's a 6'6 six six PG with a 6'9 wingspan, so it's all gonna be looking good. And he's gonna be actually a pre-fire card. Before we get into everything, Please hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And now we have a quick word from the sponsor of today's video. If you need your 12-0 unlimited domination, TTO, or even more services grinded, go contact Rose MBA on Twitter right now at twitter.com slash r6 credits sell. Link in the description down below. And now that that's all over, we can fully get into Brandon Roy and show you guys what, what's going on with Roy. Uh, Brandon Roy's been one of my favorite cards ever since he came out back in like 2K19 with that like uh, voltage promo. Absolutely amazing. Um, I just throw on a random shoe that I had just to help him out a little bit. Gave him a 99 three-point shot with a 98 mini, but he already has a 98 normally. So, you know, kind of a bad shoe. Um, 90 free throw, 90 standing, 98 driving dunk. He's a 93 ball handle, which is amazing playmaking, which is going to be great. Mix of those triple six. 88 block, which again, usually is what helps you uh, play interior defense in 2K21 for whatever reason, instead of interior defense. Uh, so glad that that's a bit higher. Uh, low 80 interior. It's not the greatest, but it is what it is. 95 steel, 97 perimeter. Um, the shoe also boosts up his rebounding, but normally has a 97 or 87 defensive rebounding and a 80 normally, but 83 and 90 now. So he's going to be a horse out there, for, uh, which is going to be nice. Uh, 96 speed, 95 speed ball, and a 96 acceleration. Could boost that speed with ball up a little bit if you wanted to, to make Brandon Roy just a little bit cheesy year but it's already good as is we have 58 hall of fame badges and only four gold so you could assume that basically everything that we need is going to be covered on brandon roy i mean he's got defense he's got playmaking he's got shooting he's gonna be able to get inside and literally dunk on everybody he can horse it with hall of fame rebound chaser even if we need that which is gonna be amazing i mean there's hall of fame clamps hall of fame ankle breaker downhill quick first step you know range extender he's got catch and shoot sniper all the wonderful stuff has showtime and slithery finisher if you're on current gen he's got sniper he's got hot zone hunter he has every single hot zone in the game i mean there really isn't any negative to this brandon roy and he's got bullet passer and things like that so he can still play that pg position pretty great and the four gold badges that we have you know tight handle special delivery fade ace and lob city finisher you know we could do without him being there at all but you know it's nice to have him a little bit uh, the one badge you will notice that is missing if you're on next gen is blinders and he so he doesn't have steady uh so for current gen they're keeping brandon roy viable for everybody and for next gen we're kind of hoed a little bit but you know what i think uh just keeping out steady's best for everybody um overall brandon roy is looking like an absolutely amazing card that i'm super excited to run and if you are too hit that like button down below comment what you think about brandon roy as we get on throughout the video and again, hit that subscribe button near the channel. We are very close to 10k subscribers. So, without further ado, let's get into the gameplay with Dark Matter, Brandon Roy. Alright, here we go. Anthony Davis versus the wonderful man, James Wiseman out here. I see a Tatum, a Zion, a Chris Mullen, and oh, these look to be the Amethyst. Alright, so interesting game out here. I'll let him shoot with Mullen, see what he's got out there. He's not even taking the three, and I'm leaving him wide open. Alright, um, interesting lineup here. All right, there we go. Bull, bull with the board, and obviously back up to Brandon Roy to have some fun. Oh, we'll fake pass it, and the white will fall for Brandon Roy from the mid-range position. Not too bad, honestly. Looking like a fun uh, card out here. Plus, the Treyberg base is always going to be pretty clutch. All right, his mid-range white is falling, so I guess we are all even out here. I can't run the pass the screen away because I didn't call the timeout inside of my settings, but it's all good. We got some off-ball going on, which means the Trey Burke base is going to agree behind those screens every time, man. His brain Roy is feeling nice. Oh, Bill Russell, look at the man out here absolutely clamping it up. And Roy taking the worst shots you've ever seen in your life. That's why we need blinders. All right, there we go. Manu getting the rebound out here. We have Roy out here running with it and oop, losing the ball off some crazy things. But Roy is a catch and shoot demon with that Dre Berg base and is still knocking it down, man. Eight to two, looking pretty nice so far for Roy. All right, good block by Zion Williamson right there. Roy's got it on the loop. Let's get it. Tatum out the way. There's the dunk. Ten points for Brandon Roy and he's putting on a field day right now. 
Oh, James Wiseman getting a steal. My man is throwing up some uh, passes a little bit too early. And Roy way too open for three on a fast break. And Sharpshooter takeover is spraying away. And we have a quit just like that. Brandon Roy is already putting on a clinic and having a fun time out there. But I guess we got to log into a second one to see how that's going to be going. Because we're not done cooking with Brandon Roy quite yet. All right, here we go. Wiseman versus Giannis at center. Probably the most interesting lineup that I've... Uh, seen it a little bit and we lose the jump not sure we should have done that and he's got pg ben simmons so a uh, really interesting lineup all right so we're waiting on three point shots but i guess we'll have to uh redeem ourselves out here ben simmons getting absolutely cooked up and look at him roy over bam at a bio having a fun at time out there me mugging a little bit and you know what roy is uh looking nice Right, there we go. Manu getting the rebound right there. Brandon Roy is out running. Will Curry slide up into oblivion and drop down the green in PG's face. There we go. Five points uh, for Roy. He's actually having a pretty good time right now. All right, so full court pressing a little bit with T-Mac, but not really doing too much with it. Roy catching it, running around. Simmons will spin, move it. Hey, and he hits the shot over. Simmons, look at Roy, man. Just doing his cheesy. Um, and his main man is T-Mac, which is interesting. All right, snagging the board with Bill Russell, obviously throwing it up to Brandon Roy again. We had a bit of a loop, and we haven't opened James Wiseman relatively. We'll call the screen right here. He's going to be pushing through it with Bam, which is fine, but stepping up a little bit too much, and a 360 dunk for Roy to get the five-point lead. The man is put on the clinic, and nobody so far is stopping him on the uh, defensive end. There we go. The boys playing defense with the Manu block right there. Roy open on the break, and there's the green right there. 15, 1-1, one one, a steal as well, and sharpshooter takeover. That, that's gorgeous. All right, here is the wonderful land of Brandon Roy with sharpshooter takeover and just breaking him down with curry slides and green in it. 18, 1-1. One one. He just keeps thinking we're driving with sharp take, which is interesting. All right, still full court pressing this time with uh, Tyrese Halliburton. We'll call the passing screen away and see if he baits on it. Oh, he did a little bit. He switched over. But look at Roy getting inside. An easy little layup right there. 21-1. and one. The ISO on this uh, Tyrese has been great. Just like that. All right, move full court press with Paul George, even though I don't think it's worked a lick. Could have had a three right there, but instead we'll drive inside right by Bam and get a layup. 22 points for Brandon Roy. Scoring on offense has been uh, quite easy, I'll say. Oh, and he's full court pressing, and it is allowing Roy to just run out open and get the dunk right there. He's got to cut it out, man. He doesn't have a good enough on ball to, uh, to keep up with us. There we go. Good defense right there, and he is immediately reaching on Bill Russell. My man's got to relax on the, uh, the reaches right here. Penny Hardaway's back in the game. We'll keep running the uh, pass and screen away, and he thinks we're snatching back, so we'll get inside and get the dunk right there. We've been baiting him into thinking we're just going to keep taking threes, and now we'll get the twos. And whites are a fallen now because when we finally start beating our, our opponent, it's always just white city out there. And oh, falling for the curry slide again and the green for Roy. 33 points right there and a the sharp should take over yet again. All right, we're still full court pressing with Penny Hardaway and I, I don't really get why, but we'll drive in leaving us open in a green. 83% contested. If that was me, I would have quit right there. It, it's over, man. Oh, Brandon Roy blocking Chris Bosh right there and getting his own rebound. Bull Bull is looking open in the corner, as is Roy now himself. Oh, why are we jumping? Let's get inside. And another dunk by Roy. 38 points right now for the man. Oh, and he gets the steal right there as well. Let's run it out. And, oh, you know what? Good jump at it to contest it. That, that could have been a highlight. Oh, but he goes out of bounds. All right, it's still ours. All right, we got 15 seconds to score with Roy. I'm just going to throw it out um, to the three-point line to have some fun. Try to get him into the screen, which works for a little bit, but not for a while. And Roy again, a windmill dunk over Sean Elliott. He has 40 points before the half. All right, Roy saws a bit of his uh, sharpshooter takeover, which is actually going to be pretty fun, especially if he's leaving us that wide open from it. Green light right there, 19-point lead and 43 points, just picking up where we left off. All right, here we go. Diamond Tyrese back in the game. Oh, ooh, I was hoping he would fake for the three. Let's spin it around. Let's hope he jumps. Hey, Roy getting inside position and getting the and one. We can check out the free throw animation with his 52nd, hopefully, point in the game right here. There it is. Ooh, 84%. All right, almost missed it, but it still goes in. 52 points. He's just, yeah, it's a 20-point lead. We'll just keep it at that all game. 
All right, so here's the end box score for our wonderful man, Brandon Roy. I decided to just go through, scroll through the game, uh, and have some fun with it because it was a little bit, uh, I guess, redundant to watch me just dunk every single time. So we got 68 points with Brandon Roy, two rebounds, four assists. He got a steal, two blocks, sadly, two turnovers. He got a few bump steals uh, towards the end, which wasn't too bad. Allowed, I allowed him to catch back up to 10, but we won by 22, so it's all good. Uh, 28 of 44 from the field, not a 19 from three. I started chucking up some wild ones, trying to hit some off dribbles to get some highlights, uh, but didn't eventually end up happening so overall is brandon roy a top pg hell yeah man this card is absolutely insane the treyberg base obviously makes any card 10 times better than it should be and he's got the dunking the defense and everything like that to go along with it he blocked two times on ben simmons of all people which was just absolutely amazing just an all-around really great card and i think he's actually pretty fun um and he's a bit tall he's got that 6'6 six, six frame so i think it's gonna be pretty nice pick yourself up brandon roy have some fun i was by 87k i'm assuming he's gonna be a little bit lower throughout the day uh we'll have to see but like the video if you did enjoy comment what you think of this brandon roy and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the channel remember we're close to that 10k so hit that uh subscribe button for you boy uh check out the uh sponsor of the video down in the description if you would kindly um do so <laughs> that helped me out a lot um, i hope you have a great day and i will see you in the next video